camera angles today and whether I'll post all of them or not is another story. One day I'll have to get my awesome computer uh, set up to edit because it takes forever to edit with a laptop. You're doing 4K video. All right, so this obviously needs to go up at least a couple pegs. So this will be closer to military press style as less of an angle on the bench. Um, which is good and bad. Got to figure out what I want to get. So I am creating a ridiculous amount of files. I should probably not film so much, but whatever. You can always hit delete, right? And if you're on the camera on the floor, I apologize. Hopefully you're not looking up my shorts. All right. So I think we're probably set up now for the, the warming up part, folks. How does the lighting look? Oh, my gosh. On the uh, Samsung tablet, tablet, lighting is perfect. Bench is not out. so we're gonna have to raise the rear post one more time. Now I could might as well put these uh spider bars up. I had one lower than the other yesterday. When I did incline, and I was like, oh my god, really? Really, Dave, you moron? Uh, <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video, I failed a lift of uh, 300, 305, I mean, on incline. And wasn't too happy about it, that's for sure. Not happy at all about that one. I may just uh, bench off of the safety bars today. Or military overhead, military press off of it. You know, we could argue whether this is military or overhead. Kind of funny when you read different articles on it. it doesn't really explain the real difference and then everybody you know thinks they know what's what so um i'm just going to refer to these as military overhead and so i can get this off of off of here, folks bench i think i'll do that Um, but yeah, so, you know, standing, I'm definitely going to refer to that as a, a military test, a little more 90 degree. I think anything in the, in the bench that's not inclined is, uh, more like overhead. All right. So we probably will not use this. Now, some people will say, oh, you don't get the bar low enough. It's, it's kind of funny, all of the differences, you know. Not everybody is physically built the same way. And you will find, you know, there's always somebody that's going to be 
stronger than yours truly. I'm just going to do some light bands, warm up the shoulder a little bit. But you'll always find somebody stronger, unless you're like, you know, Julian Maddox. Um, at least for right now, right? Or that guy that can bench over a thousand with a bench shirt. That thing, that's crazy, that kind of bench press. I don't, I thought about getting into more bench press competitions, but the thought of arching my back like that and touching some ridiculously high point on my chest. Um, then of course I need a bench shirt too, I think. I may get a bench shirt, but trying to control that when you go ridiculously heavy, I was watching, what is it, USAPL powerlifting competition and just amazed at uh, how much weight people have put up there and how dangerous it got. All right, so off camera. Grabbing some tins. Um, I thought about putting a platform from behind, and then maybe editing it all together. That's a lot of work, folks. But I do have something I could put behind. I'm kind of curious what you know, what the muscles look like. From the back side. So I'm just taking off the, the spotter bar and we can, you know, we could shoot a little bounce off of that, right? <laughs> you may see me do that when it gets heavier. But, you know, this thing is basically at this level at my chin height. I did try, not last week, a couple weeks ago, a little more angled, try to get the bar really to hit my upper chest, got a really good stretch out of it that was painful after the fact. So I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that again. So we'll grab some more tens, maybe some of our uh, Gatorade energy drink that I'm drinking. I thought about at the end of this, I may just do it. Do a uh, comparison really of seated overhead press. How many reps can I get? And then go out in the yard and take the uh, bumper plates and do, do the same thing. See how many reps I can get. And then maybe the next time I do it, reverse the order. See if we come out with the same number. Probably won't. I had that video I made where I lifted the one, 135 off the ground. I had to use the 25 and the 210 so I didn't hit the ceiling in here. And then I did, I did only 16 reps, where the most I've done in here is like 25. So, huge difference. I think most of that's, some of it's back, some of it's the, um, the support and a little more angle. We're starting to get a little bit of a pump. Just a little. Alright, so 
It's a pretty stiff. Um, I think we'll put another set of tens on there. Not quite ready. So one of these days, folks, we will move the power rack out of this back corner so that you can see we can get some better angles. I think a side shot would be better for sure. And it's hard to get the side shot this, this tight end. I've got, you can't really see it from there. Angle this up. So we've got this gooseneck here, which eventually I'll, I'll put a camera in there. This may be um, the one front camera I'm using the Samsung tablet. Maybe providing the best shot overall. It was a slightly better wide angle lens, maybe even better, but 